Welcome to our tech support video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Ionic developers encounter. One of our viewers has run into a problem after updating Cordova. They received an error message stating, sorry, Ionic serve can only be run in an Ionic project directory. This is particularly concerning for those working with an Ionic 1 project, especially when trying to create a new project only to find it defaults to Ionic 2. So, how can they revert back to Ionic 1 and get their old project up and running again? Let's dive in and explore some solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To resolve the error message you're encountering, let's first clarify what it means. The error indicates that the command Ionic serve can only be executed within an Ionic project directory. Next, if you want to run your existing Ionic 1 project, you need to navigate to the directory where your Ionic 1 project is located. Use the command line to change directories. If you are still facing issues, it might be necessary to install the Ionic 1 CLI. You can do this by running the following command in your terminal. Once the Ionic 1 CLI is installed, you can start your project by running Ionic Serve again from within your project directory. If you want to create a new Ionic 1 project, you can specify the version when using the Ionic Start command. Use this command to create a new Ionic 1 project. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you encounter the error saying Ionic Serve can only be run in an Ionic project directory, ensure you have a www directory at the root of your project. Without it, Cordova will throw that error. create a new project using the latest Ionic CLI, remember to add the flag Nash Type Ionic 1 to specify that you want Ionic version 1. This command will generate a new project with Ionic version 1. For more details, you can check the official documentation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble running your Ionic 1 app after updating to Ionic 3, here's a solution. First, navigate to your new Ionic 3 project and open the package.json file. Look for a line that includes at iCly plugin Ionic Angular. Copy this line to your Ionic 1 project's package.json. Change Ionic Angular to Ionic 1 in the copied line. Then run npm install in your Ionic 1 project folder. Next, rename the file ionic.project to ionic.config.json. Finally, try running Ionic Serve again. Hopefully, 
your Ionic One app will start successfully. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you see the error message saying that Ionic Serve can only be run in an Ionic project directory, it means your current directory is not set up as an Ionic project. To fix this, simply run the command Ionic init. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the error about running Ionic Serve, try using the command Ionic State Reset with the Plugins option. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you see the error message about Ionic Serve, it means you're not in an Ionic project directory. Simply navigate to the correct directory and try running the command again. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.